Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to none other than Let's 100% Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm so glad to see uh, everybody's enjoying this series. I mean, you know, I've just really wanted to do a big thing for a while. You know, I, we kind of just lost the 100% nature of this channel. You know what I mean? I don't know why. I, I've always enjoyed it. I, I think it's a lot, obviously, to try and 100% a game, especially something as big as this, but... Yeah, I, I think that's kind of my niche, you know? I think that's kind of the thing that I'm good at on the YouTube. And, uh, ooh. Okay, this is good because I think this is a missable thing that I was keeping an eye out for. Excellent. Also, what exactly are we doing? We did the, um, we did the two debts, right? And then we're kind of like on the run. We got like a $32 bounty, which is ironically pretty high compared to this day and age. Uh, so yeah, I think we can do this, which is excellent. Uh, what else? So yeah, the recap. So, uh, yeah, we're basically still in Valentine, and we're trying to just go around, do all the odd jobs, get the gang back on its feet, so that eventually we can go back and save our people in Blackwater, and also save the money, because we have a ton of money over there. And I think, uh, Trelawney, who somebody left a very interesting comment about tying into Red Dead Redemption 1, which I'm not sure if that's a thing or not, maybe. Trelawney's a very interesting character, but, uh, yeah, he kind of mentioned Blackwater being able to go down there, which I think is what uh, this Javier Escuela uh, mission is. Yeah. Yep. Rescue Sean from the Bounty Hunters holding him in Blackwater. So, big mission down here. But, yeah, this over here was something that I wanted to keep an eye out for. So, that's really good. Anyways, thanks so much for watching up to this point. I'm so glad to see people are enjoying it. I'm loving it. I mean, like I said, this game is the best game to ever come out. So, it's just kind of, you know, it's it's uh, it's an adventure. As soon as you start playing it, it's, it's something that's going to change your life. You know what I mean? So, if you are currently watching until the end, like if, you, if you're in it for the long haul, you're going you're gonna to go through some emotions, especially if you've never seen this game before. But, yeah, this is what I was keeping an eye out for, so that's really good. Okay, I, I think so, anyways. Let's go up to this guy. Hello there, partner. It's, uh, gotta remember all the controls. Oh, maybe this is something different, actually. Alert the autosave, blah, 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 blah. Yes, that's fine. I wonder if there's a setting to, like, override that. Okay, howdy, stranger. How's it going? Why don't you join me and have a seat over here by by the fire? Oh, by the fire. You seem a little uh, under the weather, friend. That's good of you. That's real good of you. Okay, let's sit at the stool. Oh, I, actually, this is not what I think it was. I, maybe it is, but I don't. I don't think this is what I thought it was. So, anyways, yeah, you always want to, you know, do this sort of stuff. There's like a million of these little kind of interactions. They don't really. I don't even think they're tracked or anything. But obviously, it just gives flavor to the game. You know. Here, take the load off. Fire's real warm. Huh. Bone dry. Sins I'm carrying around. You won't even believe. But if I had a little whiskey to loosen up my tongue a little, I might I might tell you. I don't think Arthur's much of a gossip, but uh sure we we probably have a million things of whiskey. Here. Hmm. Hmm. Only f fitting that I'd be drinking the devil's brew. I'll be seeing him soon enough. You're... You're a place called Four Rigs? South of Strawberry. <sighs> Captain, Indians penned in their lock cattle. I ain't know what's worse. Seeing the ones we killed or watching the other ones die. The slow way. <sighs> well, they pay well. Them government boys. But the money don't last long. Uh-uh. 
It's, it's what you did. Sticks around. I don't know the feel. Oh. I was a, a young man then, but I still see them faces clear as yesterday. I do. Yeah, well, luckily, I don't have this experience. I've never done anything quite as haunting as that. I could only imagine, though. Uh, we were able to greet him there for a second. I'm going to your last minute. Feeling very sleepy all of a sudden. Yeah, sounds good, friend. Why don't you just take a nap? You're, you're awfully... You're drinking that whiskey quite a... <laughs> oh, my God. Ugh. Anytime I see somebody do something like this, it's like... Oh, and you're tip. Okay. And you're down. Yeah, I've never experienced this. There's, there's so many of these, like, little uh, interactions I'm sure I've never even, you know, seen before. Because there's so many of them. Uh, can we get up, Arthur? Thank you. Okay, so we could obviously, like, loot them. But, again, we're going to probably try to go high honor here. Loot, pick up. We could also pick them up. Maybe take them with us. <laughs> That'd be kind of weird. Yeah, anytime I see somebody, like, drink a whole thing of alcohol like that in a movie or a show or a game or whatever, it's like, oh, God, just just imagining the feeling of that. Because, like, back when I was drinking, like, I could put it away, you know, like, I could, I could slam stuff. Like, I, I remember always thinking, okay, let's uh, pick a place before I start going on this rant here. Not rant, but tangent, you know. Um, oh, yeah, okay, so this is... Yeah, sometimes you gotta, it's weird, like, there's different, like, states in Red Dead Redemption 2, meaning, like, sometimes you're in the middle of a mission, you can't do certain stuff, you're in you're in a mission state or whatever. So anyways, uh, there's certain things that are locked. What is this again? The post office, which I guess we could pay our bounty, right? That would probably be smart, because you can see we've got this red outline, so all around here we're wanted for $32.50. But what are our missions that are available to us? We got uh, Leopold Strauss over here. Oh, but we need to drop our stuff back at the Horseshoe Overlook because we have the debts. Question is, well, I think we can do that, and then we maybe there will be a bounty uh, up here, and we can go to the post office and pay that off. So yeah, I think we should go to Horseshoe and then drop our bounties off. Make sure that that's done and dusted. That sounds like a plan to me, and why is it telling me to go this way when my marker is behind me? What? How does that work? Oh, it's trying to get me to the road. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, anyways, what was I saying? Yeah, so when I was drinking, I just remember, like, you know, people would, like, I knew people that were like, oh, I can't do shots. It's like, what do you mean you can't do shots? You can't take a shot and be done with it? And, like, that's the whole point of a shot is to drink it, be done with it, and move on. And I think, like, certain people, like, they build that up in their head, right? It's like, oh, my God, it's a shot. It's going to be so bad. But it's like, I could put that stuff away. I could take shots of, man, I took shots of freaking uh, Everclear on stream, on Twitch stream. Which, by the way, uh, by the time that this comes out, this episode's going to go up uh, probably Monday, right? Uh, so I should mention, yes, if you are a channel member or a patron on Patreon... You will get access to the videos as soon as they're scheduled. I, I don't know exactly how that's that's going to work because I need to make sure they're not overlapping each other. So, yeah. Basically, as soon as I can figure out the schedule, like when I finish this video, render it, upload it, you know, as soon as it can go live for members on the channel, uh, it will, basically. And then I'll upload them to Patreon as well because you can upload, you know, Patreon over videos. So if you're interested in that, check out the join button below the video. And big thank you to my members, and big thank you to my patrons. Anyways. Oh, boy. Oh, hello, fellas. Oh, we got the, yeah, the Showfield revolver. Oh, we got some O'Driscoll's. Okay, we got that head there. All right, that guy's dead. Come on, come on. Okay, that guy's dead, too. Oh, my God. Okay, that guy's dead, and we got one more. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh, he hit me the... Come on, man! The reload! Ugh, Jesus. That was really close to us dying. Yeah, I should have... Why is he on fire? Your Deadeye core is empty. You can sleep, smoke cigars, eat food, or drink coffee and alcohol to refill your Deadeye core. Yeah, hold on, horse. What the heck's going on with you? Oh, because the fire. 
How do I calm you? There's like a way to calm you. Yeah, L3, right? Okay, L1. So many controls. L1. Yeah, calm down. Hold on. We're like far away from the fire. It's all good. It's all good. Okay, I'm gonna park you right here. Hold on a second. Just chill out. You're not even close to the... F and he's just off. You're not even close to the fire, bro. Oh, it's spreading. Okay. That's not good. Uh, let's loot this failure. Yeah, freaking O'Driscoll's almost killed me. I gotta remember to switch to the... You picked up gun oil, which can be used to improve the condition of your weapon. Select a gun in the weapon wheel. Press R3 to maintain it. Right. Yeah. <laughs> just keep stacking the freaking... Just keep stacking the freaking uh, mechanics. Yeah, just, just keep stacking it. It's honestly insane, man. Like... It's not a negative. Before anybody like in the comments is like, you know, why does he keep playing complaining about the mechanic? It's not a negative. I'm just saying it's crazy, like how much they, how much they put into this game purely just based on a mechanical level. Anyways, okay, I think that was the horse getting scared of the fire. Let's go to this Odrisco, and I guess because he burnt, we can't even loot him, which I guess would make sense. Then there was four Odriscos, right? So there's one more body up this way. So I'm gonna run over here. Hello, fella. Don't mind me. Just, uh, yeah, deal with a bunch of burnt corpses. Or one, at least. Anyways, what was I talking about? Yeah, taking shots of Everclear on Twitch. You know, to me, it's like, you know, I think some people... You picked up a valuable. You can use valuables in crafting, sell them to a fence, or donate them to the camp funds. Gotcha. Some people um, would think of that like taking shots of Everclear, which obviously you should never do. But, like, they'd be like, oh, my God, that's, like, impossible. But the thing is, is, like, again, to me, a shot is just something you take. You, you're done with it. Right? And I don't say any of this to sound cool or brag. Not that any of this sounds cool or anything like that. I'm simply saying it because when I did drink, yeah, I could put the stuff away. But I never drank, like, a whole bottle like that or half of a whole bottle like that. Like, that's just awful. I did over time. I remember one particular night, me and my friend, very when I was very in my early 20s, uh, we split a bottle of, like, Bacardi 151 rum or whatever, and his mom had to take me home, and I was a complete, like, I was 50 sheets to the wind, you know? Arthur, dumbass. Look who's back. What's up, Bill? Why is Bill always... What you up to? Nothing much. Okay. Well, see ya. Yeah, Bill's always, like, wherever we enter the camp from, Bill's there. I, he must be programmed to do that. Anyways, I guess the whole point of me saying all this is just that, uh, yeah, when I was drinking, which I haven't drank a drop of alcohol in, like, I don't know, five or six months at this point, um, yeah, I could slam some shots, you know, shots were never an issue, it, it was, it was, but I never got to that level of, like, drinking gigantic sips of bottles, like, that's just horrendous to watch somebody do, because that's, you're just, you're ingesting poison over such a long period of time, consuming it, you know what I mean? Whereas a shot is just, you, you're done, you know? Okay, anyways, uh, remove Whitetail Buck, and then we gotta go drop this off at Pearson, and then, oh, we also have, that's a skin there, right? Oh, so hopefully, yeah, hopefully this buck is still good. The I would imagine the game would account for, like, you know, you being traveling around for a while. So hopefully we can drop this off. We also want to eat the uh, the stew as well. All right, Pearson, get to work, you son of a... Good morning, Pearson. We should be able to drop this off even if he's, like, not technically at work, I, I would think. Can we? Donate crafting upgrades, Pearson. Um, What do you do with this? Drop whitetail buck, but it's not letting me because there's no, like, spot for it. You take this to Pearson, right? Because he, like, cuts it up for the meat or whatever. And we can't really do that. When's this going to end? Yeah, hold on, Kier. Hold, hold on. I got stuff to do. Pearson, can you take this thing? Mr. Pearson. Do you realize you look like a backstreet butcher, Mr. Morgan? I don't know what that means. Anyways, take this freaking white tail. Wait, I could drop it there for a second. Okay. Drop it there. And now what? Items dropped at camp will always be left in a convenient location. Hunted animal carcasses and parts can be handed in at Pearson's butcher counter. Yeah, well, he ain't th he ain't doing it. <laughs> he ain't doing it. Rest by the campfire. Should I wait? Because, like, I guess it's just, like, too early in the morning. Okay, I, I forget how to pass time in this game. Maybe just, like, wait at the campfire here. See if we can pass time. Uh, while resting at a campfire, you can access fi fire crafting. Fire crafting allows you to cook meat and make tonics. Craft, cook, or leave. So no wait mechanic. Uh, how do you... I feel like it's very simple. And I feel like I'm just forgetting how to do it. Can I sit on the stool? 
They can sit on the stove. How do you freaking pass the time until Pearson, like, gets to work? Like, past the boarding? Or maybe we just miss, like, the little tiny contextual button that, uh, you know, we could turn this... I, I feel like this has never been a problem. Because I remember there's a lot of hunting in this game. Like, hunting quests and challenges and things. And I feel like I never had this issue of not being able to turn in a carcass. Hey, Arthur. Yeah, hold on, Hosea. I got things to do, man. And your quest is, I'm sorry, not not most interesting quest out of all the ones we have available to us. No offense. Um, yeah, we obviously have to take this to the butcher icon, but... Well, the butcher icon is highlighted. And then what's that other icon? It's like a little meat pot from Minecraft or something. I feel like I should be able to turn this in. Pierce it. Oh, wait. Don't, oh, maybe I just hit donate. Maybe that's... You know, these hides and furs can also be done up into coats and boots and such. Beyond my skills, but there's a trapper that travels around these parts. Canadian feller. Skill Tanner. He can make just about anything. You should drop in on him sometime. Yeah, yeah, I know. Thanks, Pearson. All right. Cool, Pearson. Okay, so donate for crafting with X. And, I mean, this is all that we do, right? Because what else? We could, like... Yeah, I'm trying to, like, decipher everything. Because on the top right, we have, like, a plus, a bullet, and a meat pop. So what exactly does that mean? I don't know. Anyways, buck antlers. The antlers from buck can be used in crafting or sold. Yeah, so I guess you can sell these things, too. But we definitely want to donate them. Also, we have $108. How do we have so much? Because the top one is the camp funds, right? Okay, so anyways, donate that. Oh, yes. I'll oh, yeah, brother. Yes. That's some good venison meat, brother. Okay, and then we've got uh, donate for provisions. Mature venison meat. The meat from a large game animal to be used in cooking. We can donate all two, but I want to go through each one of these and kind of see what they do. Uh, poor buck pelt. The pelt from a buck in poor condition displaying major damage can be sold, but we can donate it for funds. I see. Let's see what we can get for Yeah, well, I'm trying, Pearson. Listen, I'm not like an expert hunter or anything. We got poor buck carcass. The body of a buck in poor condition displaying major damage. Good. We really needed this. Didn't I shoot them Many with like thanks, a Mr. Morgan. Master Hunter 1, 3 of 3 deer skin? Nice. The trapper is shown by the bear claw on the map. Yeah, the trapper stuff is fun. I really enjoyed that. Master Hunter 2 unlocks. Collect three perfect quality rabbit pelts. Okay, so yeah, we should be keeping an eye on these challenges too, so we can kind of tick Good them morning, down. Man. Yo, what's up? What's up, John? John. What's up, John? You just got to wave at me? Uh, I love John Marston. He's such a cool character, but I cannot say anything more than that. You will see if you watch this playthrough. Anyways, let's go. Oh, my God. I was just about to get the Good stew. Morning, the stew is currently being prepared. Check again after noon. I can't even be mad because that's such a cool detail that he actually takes the pot and, like, prepares the stew. That's so cool. Okay. Well, I wanted to do the stew because I think our cores could use some work, but... Oh, well. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. The debts. Okay, so that should be the next thing. And I haven't even asked. There's just... This game is so... Um, what's the word? Flush with content that I haven't even asked the common question. Who's this? Ditch! Good morning, Arthur. What's up, Ditch? Hey, man, Ditch. Yeah. When are you going to meet Trelawney and the others? If there's a chance to get to Sean. I know, I know. I'm on it, I promise. Brother, stop rushing. We got 15,000 things I got to do. Jesus Christ. Okay, anyways. um, Yeah, common question of the episode. I haven't even been able to get that out because this game is so flush with content. Uh, anyways, uh, this comes from Nananya15, the queen of comment questions. Uh, I, I love seeing a Nananya15 comment pop up because I always know it's going to be a good question. But they ask, most underrated superpower... So let me know in the comments section, what do you think is the most underrated superpower that exists? There's probably some really good answers because a lot of superpowers kind of just go off of how creative can you be with them. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'll try to think of some. I don't have an answer on hand, but there's obviously some that pop into my brain. Uh, anyways, give all debts. There we go. You know, I'm thinking like, I mean, invisibility would be great. You know, time. Oh, my God. Like, I feel like time. Because that's like a Futurama episode, and that's a big Futurama episode as well. Okay, let's contribute. How do we have so much money? I feel like we have tons of money in the camp already. Give item or give money. Okay, what do we got? Gold wedding ring. I mean, there's nothing else to do with these items, right? You might as well just donate them. Got that unique item. Yeah, I guess we'll just hold on to unique items for now. Silver emblem ring. Okay, let's donate that. Boop! Silver pocket watch. 
Eight dollars. Not bad. That's like, what, a hundred dollars in today money? Gold wedding ring. Gold wedding ring. And then, yeah, we'll keep the pen. Uh, like I said, unique items you can, like, turn into certain valuables or something. I, I'm not going to get lost in the weeds with this playthrough because, yeah, there's, like, a, a bunch of little things you can do and whatever that are unique and missable and things like that. But, honestly, yeah, if it, if it doesn't feel significant or if it's not tracked anywhere, it's just like, you know, what are we doing at that point? Okay, increase amount, lower amount, donate, zero dollars. So we have 116. Wow. Yeah, we have a lot of money. Okay, so I think we should have $50 left so we could pay the bounty and have a little bit left over. So, uh, we'll do some math here. That's uh, 116 minus $50 is what? That would be $100 minus 16. Uh, right? No, wait, what am I? Huh? I, uh, okay, I'm just going to literally do this on my calculator on my app right here. 116 minus 50 equals 66 dollarinos. So we're going to donate 66 dollarinos. What if Dutch was just like, Ooh, we got a new donation from Arthur Morgan. <laughs> 66 dollar donation. Thank you so much. Okay, uh, 66 dollar donation. Uh, boop. Donate 66 dollars. That should leave me with $50.59. Fantastic. Okay, then we open the ledger and we see if we can't get any upgrades here. Let's take a look in the book, literally. Uh, next page, finish in ledger. Okay, so this is just tracking everybody's stuff. Strauss's medicine wagon, don't care. Restock, don't care. Pearson's provisions, don't care. Restock, don't care. Ammunitions, don't care. Restock, don't care. Lodging. Next in line, Arthur wants a map to help plan journeys. Oh, that's big. Upgrade Arthur's lodging locks. The fast travel map allowing you to quickly travel to previously discovered locations. And unlocks grooming supplies. That's big. Yeah, we probably just want to save for that. So that's... Wow, that's expensive. That's another, like... Wait, is it? Yeah, $325. So that's another $125, pretty much. $127. Okay, we're going to save for that. Because that would be... That's really nice to get early. Especially for, like, a playthrough series. All right, cool. So, let's go ahead and pick a mission. Now, we got Kieran in town. Or in, uh... In, uh, in, uh, in camp. Also, we should take a look if there's any, like, yeah, these little kind of white things like dominoes to see if there's any missable interaction or anything. Looks like there's not. So we got Jose and we got Kieran. And then, yeah, who's this? Oh, yeah, Reverend Swanson, Javier Escuela, and then Leopold way up there. So, I think we should do a mission in town, but we need to pay off that bounty ASAP. So, do we want to do the Kieran mission or the Hosea mission? I'll tell you this much. The Kieran mission is more interesting. So, maybe we'll save that for after the Hosea. We probably should just get the Hosea done. And the Hosea one's good, too. And the only reason I even remember what these are is because, like I said, we, I did, like, 19 episodes on GV or something of, like, first-person uh, Red Dead. And so, yeah, I remember all these early missions, but we'll catch up very quickly. Uh, also, how do I know what time it is? Because I would like to eat that... Oh my god, it's 7.51 a.m.? Okay. I would like to eat the stew is what I was going to say, but... That ain't going to happen. That's fine. Uh, alright. Let's do the Hosea mission. What up, Hosea? I really like Hosea as a character, by the way. He's, uh, very... All these characters are so fleshed out, but Hosea is great. Hosea? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish... No, I saw a huge bear, one of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God, but you need me to come with you. Of course, let's go. Where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now, unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way. Sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. 
And the stables always have the best ones. Uh, I guess you're right. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, I forgot about this part. I, I do think this is the mission I'm thinking of. But, uh, yeah, I forgot about this whole horse part. Stand next to your new horse. Saddle up. That is a huge horse, my god. Okay, see if you can get your leg over that brute. You will bond with a horse the first time you saddle it, which I don't think I've ever really done too much of that. Like, cause you get a horse and then you kind of just buy a new horse, you know? It's already, it already comes pre-saddled or whatever. Shire horse. All right, let's get up on this. There's big feller right, here. Let's head into town. No bar fights, please. I heard about that. I'll do my best. We're heading out. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine Stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, uh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. And Davy was... Passed out so cold, we left him there, came back in the next day, and he woke up, started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> Yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You find a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very hot. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. Lenny and Jenny. I mean, honestly, you should just go for it at that point. Get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. Easy, boy. You're way too big to be getting agitated. You need to chill the hell out. Uh, so many things I wanted to say. Yeah, so many things I want to commentate on while these conversations happen. Uh, how often did people just go missing? Back in the wild west, you know, like when you didn't have obviously like communication phones and stuff like that. It's like, so you go out, you have a crazy night at the bar, whatever. And, you know, Jose is just like, hey, we're going to be gone a couple of days. Like, how long did people just get sep? How often did people just get separated and never saw, you know, their family or friends again? I feel like that would have to be a common thing, especially out in the west, right? Step ahead. Okay, time to get ourselves a new horse. Take the right. horse into the stable. Big fruit. Buy yourself a horse. Let's do okay. it, Jose. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. Hopefully with your money I'm buying Make this horse. Sounds good. Hey, how can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And what about this one here? Yeah, are you looking to sell? I show you. You got papers? No, no papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look. All right, the horse menu. Stabling your horse allows you to store it at the stables. You can access it later. If you sell the horse, you'll be paid the sale price. So, I'm sure we're going to get a get a get 100 messages in the top left, or maybe not, because it's already gone. Also, yeah, I'm recording a super early morning in the morning, and I've noticed... Sorry, I just muted my mic and coughed. Yeah, there's like a congestion, you know what I mean? Like, if I start recording first thing in the morning, it's like... You know, congestion. It's really annoying because it makes me have to clear my throat. Anyways, 
Okay, sell or stable the horse. Well, we're selling the horse, right? Because we're buying a new one. Why are we selling again? I guess I missed that. Like, this horse seems quite cool. The Shire horse. Handling heavy. I love that it's got, like, car stats. Uh, okay, so... Oh, wow, $65. Not bad. All right, bye! You've been... Oh, my God, it just disappears. That's so messed up. Okay, so yeah, Red Dead Redemption 2 is cool because you got like a whole different bunch of breeds of horses, some better than others, obviously, or some having better stats and stuff like that. Now, there's a unique type of a cool type of horse I know somebody just mentioned a comment about, which I ultimately would really like to get, but I'm sure we can't get that early in the game. So let's see our options. We got the Morgan. We got the American Standard Bread. And then we have the Dutch Warm Blood. Oh, that's cool. He's kind of like, he, he's got a real interesting look to him. And the Ardennes? Is this free? Why is this free? <clears throat> I'm confused. So I guess, yeah, if you saved up enough money, you could buy this one or this one at this point in the game. Oh, we can see their stats. Yeah. Wait, what? The free horse is way better. So let's look at the stats here. Yeah, speed, acceleration, and handling. They had to do that as a joke, right? That's straight up just car stats. Anyways, um, yeah, this Morgan is worse, as far as I can tell, than the free Ardennes. Why is it even free? I'm confused. But anyways, let's go for the Ardennes or the Ardennes. I'm not sure how to say that. Oh, we can name it. My horse, horses, horseback, horsepower. Uh, well, you know, I got to think of like a reference in this case. So we got Roach from The Witcher. Obviously, we've also got uh, Epona from the Legend of Zelda series. I think Epona, Roach is just, I hate Roaches. So, I, you know, Roach is a cool name, but like, I always thought that just sounded a little disgusting. So maybe something like Epona. I think I've done this in the past where I did the, the backward spelling of it. Uh, so let me write this out. <coughs> Voice, can you stop getting horse, please? Ironically, horse. Uh, so, Epona. Backwards would be Anope. Anope? Yeah, that sounds kind of cool. So if we do, like, Anope like that. Can we do an accent on it? Because we could do, like, Anope. Anope, which would be cool as hell. Uh, right three. Yeah, do we have, like, an accent? There's accents here. Yeah, so if we go backwards and then do that. Anope! Okay, hopefully that doesn't mean something really bad in some other language or something, but that's a really cool name. And it's Epona Backwards, which is Link's horse in every Zelda, pretty much. Boom. I like it. Okay, so I actually really did like this, like, customization stuff. I remember they've, they've got some cool options, so... Manage owned horses, buy horses, tack and services, horse appearance upgrade and service options. Okay, we've got equipment, purchase horse equipment, saddles, higher quality saddles, improve your horse's stamina core and health core drain rate, which providing a stamina regen while providing a stamina regen rate increase. Now, obviously, we don't want to break the bank here, and, you know, clearly there's like a million options here, so I don't want to take half the episode going through these, but... Let's at least take a look. Yeah, that saddle is $51. That ain't happening. No thanks. Saddle bags. We'll just see what these do, though. Uh, upgraded saddle bags, increase your outfit, mask, and hat storage. Interesting. Stock saddle bag, upgraded saddle bag for $40. Nope. That ain't happening either. Uh, stirrups. Higher quality stirrups, increase your horse's speed and acceleration, provide a stamina drain rate reduction. That's pretty good. Baroque stirrup we got yeah yeah I want to get the best I mean we just need a horse at the moment we don't need you know the best upgrades and everything horns what is what do horns do oh that's the little thing you hold on to yeah okay so these just kind of change how they look I wonder if they've added any of these that'll be interesting to see if they've added any since I've last played blankets okay and a bunch of different blankets what do these do anything no nope. and then bed rolls don't really do anything these are more for looks yeah, we'll, we'll customize all this later on. Appearance, edit the horse's appearance. Main, change your horse's main. Natural, okay, so this is what I do want to change. Natural, regular, short, long, braid, mohawk, dreadlock. Yeah, I think I've always liked the dreadlocks, and all of these are around $5 or so. So what color do we want? Uh, typically I just go like, yeah, black, you know, I just want a cool looking horse, a horse dark as night. What is that? Oh, that kind of looks neat. That looks kind of weird though. 
Um, yeah, it kind of fits with his, with his, you know, his, his color. Okay, let's go for that, yeah. The, the dreadlock. And then that weird color. Okay, and then the tail. I like how you're just changing the horse's, like, anatomy here. Natural, regular. We've got short, we've got long, we've got braid, and we've got dreadlock, which kind of looks weird. Very, very not flush. So regular looks really long. Regular looks longer than the long. I, I think we'll just go for log, yeah, and then can we grab that same color? I would imagine it's going to be the same type of color, wouldn't it? B? This one? Yeah. Let's do that. Beautiful. Okay. Pretty cheap there. And then services. What do we got here? Horse care package. Yeah, one thing I wanted to say was, like, I love how Red Dead has a lot of stuff for very cheap because it would be cheap, you know, back in this day. Like, you can make a lot of money in Red Dead, obviously, from doing crimes and stuff. But, you know, if you buy, like, a horse care package, yeah, it's only $5. You know what I mean? So, anyways, uh, fully restores all horse cores and yields gold cores. Let's do that. Yeah, basically a fully, you know, fully tops off everything. Okay. Tack and services horse provisions. So, this is just buy, yeah, apples and stuff like this. Uh, so, we got all here. What's, the, what's at the bottom? Horse reviver. Severe injury and moderately restores its health. Potent horse medicine, horse medicine, blah, blah, blah. Uh, okay, what's the best type of thing to feed the horse? They do like sugar cubes, right? Slightly restores stamina core, slightly restores horse stamina core. Carrying zero out of three sugar cubes. So let's just buy three of those. I mean, it should be good, I would imagine. All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. All right, let's see. So, mm, let's see. Here are your papers. And on me, a new grooming brush. And some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's going to look after you just fine. That I am, because this is a cool horse. You happy? I am happy, Hosea. This is a cool, odd-looking horse. Wait, where's this? Oh, yeah, they're kind of going over the left side. Mount your horse. All right, let's get on. Man, Arthur looks so wrong without a freaking Hop on up hat. Here, let's go. Yeah, I'm doing it. Hold on. Right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Let's go, Hosea. Actually, can I pay my bounty while I'm here? That would be kind of nice. We're, like, on a mission. Oh, we can pay the bounty, I suppose. Yeah, it's weird, because it's like, we're wanted, but I think the game's like, well, they're in a mission, so, you know, we'll let them go through. Yeah, we should have another opportunity. I mean, we'll definitely be up to Valentine at some point. Okay, I don't want to mess up the mission by going too far away from Hosea. It's called O'Craze. And then also, let's restore Dead Eye Core if we can, because that's, like, really bad. Fully restores Dead Eye. Opened Snake Oil? Wow, it doesn't have to be closed? Up in the mountains, east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back Wait, what? Oh, it just fully restores the outer bar, not the core. Okay, so yeah, we need health and Dead Eye Core. We're missing a lot of that. Slightly restores uh, health core with assorted biscuits. I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. Yeah, hold on, Jose. I'm just trying to restore everything. Classic oat cakes restores health core and stamina core. Greatly restores all horse cores. Oh, if we feed the horse that. Fully restores health, stamina, and dead eye. I need cores, though. Peach, health core, stamina core. Where's the dead eye core? We have to have something for that. Slightly damages health core, slightly restores stamina core, moderately restores dead eye core. Yeah, open Kentucky bourbon. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Uh, Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year. Now, I don't mean to be cutting off the dialogue. There we go. Say, he ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know. But it's done. Has been for a while now. 
Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long. And you know it. Yes, yeah, a little bit of John Marston. John Marston. Uh, lore backstory there. Sounds like he ran out on the gang and ran out on his kid. Which, yeah, man, I really want to talk more about it. But, uh, you know, my style is I do not spoil anything that does not need to be spoiled. But the John Marston clan is uh, very, okay. very interesting. I think we need to head right up here. But you shall see if you watch this series until completion. And especially if we do Red Dead Redemption 1. Which, uh, yeah, there's some interest in the comments. I mean, I would love to, but obviously... Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. That'll be far in the future. We're going the right way. That's the lake there. Good. We made it. Let's loop around the other side. Ha! Hold L1 and press R1 to select horse wheel while mounted onto your horse. Okay, horse wheel. What do we got for... I mean, he's got the golden core. What are you talking about? He's, uh... Yeah, he's got, he got that horse package. He's good. He's fine. I should really be heading back over to Great Plains see about Sean. It's bounty hunters who've got him? So Trelawney says. Javier and Charles have gone with him to scope it out. Pretty dangerous going anywhere near Blackwater. Right, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Of course. Look there. Rabbits. Maybe we should catch one to cook. Sure. I'll try and shoot one. You don't want to use anything too powerful on a small animal like that. Just ruin the meat. Best thing's a bow or a 22 caliber varmint rifle. I have hunted rabbits before, you know. Yes. And obliterated them with a shotgun, if I remember right. Hunt a rabbit. Okay, we need to do that for the challenge anyway, so that's pretty good. All right, so let's see how we do this again. Let's go up to our horse, get our loadout set. So we got the Showfield Revolver. We've got the Long Arm Shoulder Carbine Repeat. Carbine. Carbine, right? It was not bean. It was bine, I believe. And then we got the bow. Right, let's take out the bow. Where's my freaking hat as well? I need a hat. Okay, so, then we do Eagle Eye, right? Also, we could probably study our new horse. Yep, gotta make sure to study all the new animals you come across, including the rabbit. And then, how did you do this? You activate Eagle Eye, right? You should see some tracks, shouldn't you? But I ain't seeing no tracks. No tracks at all. It was like a weird Philadelphian accent or something. Uh, anyways, yeah, most underrated superpower. It's a tough one, man. You know, the thing that immediately comes to mind... What is that wind thing down there? I guess that's a track. Now I can see some rabbits. Okay, so L3 to crouch, right? And then, uh, so once we can hover over the rabbit, we want to study it, because I don't think we've studied a coney yet. Um, yeah, that's a tough one. The thing that immediately comes to mind is that Darwin guy from, like, X-Men... What was it? First Class or whatever... The guy that could basically evolve into any situation or whatever. That was really cool. I always liked that power a lot. And it's not something that you really, you know, think about too often. Why can I not... Why can't I study it? Is it just, like, forcing me to, like, shoot it? Okay. Boop! Got him. Um, but, yeah, the Darwin power to kind of, like... Okay, skin, pick up. I mean, we would skin it. It wouldn't... The hell was that? Yeah, we're out here hunting a bear. That sounded like a bear over there. Uh, yeah, so we'll skin it. Um, yeah, that power always struck me as really cool. Black-tailed jackrabbit. Oh my god, yeah, just ripped the skin off. God, that's so brutal. Compendium updated. Press start for details. Go to Hosea. Well, we need to pick up the rabbit. Oh, I guess we got the get. Why did we get the game meat? Wouldn't we have to take the rabbit with us? That's a big rabbit, by the way. Uh, anyways... That's the power that comes into mind. You know, you have super strength, which has always been kind of boring to me. The ability to fly, which would be awesome, but also kind of boring. All, all the, like, you know, the basic powers, you know, are kind of just what you would come to expect. Right. It's getting late. From, uh, camp here. from sure. superhero stuff. Hold L1 um, to show the weapon wheel. Switch to the atom wheel. Press R to select camp from the crafting slot. Release L1 to use. Up. 
which never freaking works. Never mind. It just worked. Never mind. Uh, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. I really do wonder how rabbit tastes. I've never eaten rabbit before. It always sounded kind of yummy. And I know if you're a vegetarian or vegan watching, you're like, ugh. But as a meat eater, yeah, I don't know. It just sounded kind of like an open, you know, cook, cook at a rabbit over an open flame like this. Okay, select the plain game recipe. Go on, then. I thought you said you were famished. And then we can press X to cook, or it just happens automatically? And then R2 to eat. No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> after all that. You don't want to eat any rabbit after after this late? I mean, I feel ya. Yeah, it, it is kind of... Uh, it doesn't make you feel good the next morning if you eat, like, super late. Okay, we'll cook another one, though. I'm feeling a little bit hungry. Haven't eaten breakfast in real life. Okay, I'm going to eat that and then not stow it because I assume it's just going to go bad. Plain game. How much do we have of this? You can cook three of this item. What? We got like five of these things? That's kind of crazy. Recipe show all effects cook and leave. How do I be done with this? All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. Choose a time to sleep until. So, yeah, you can wait until a time at the camp, it seems like. Sleep. Maybe you just have to sleep, though. Uh, morning, seven hours. X to sleep. Can I switch it, though? It's probably just making me do this at this point. He better be worth all this drama. Seven hours. That ain't bad for back in the Wild West. I do wonder what the average amount of sleep people got were, was. You know what I mean? I feel like it would be a low amount. <laughs> Maybe a large amount. Is what the heck else are you doing? You ready? No, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet tooth. A lot of fellas bait then shoot from the trees, but I prefer to hunt on the ground. More dangerous. But we'll have a much better chance of getting good shot in. And if he bolts, we can start right off after him. Can you mix up this bait for me while I finish packing this up? Fish, berries. I tie it up in that rag when you're done. I hope you Such know a weird thing. About. Fish and berries. Because, like, it sounds good. That was virtually... It sounds good, like it sounds natural, you know what I mean? But I hate fish, right? And so it's like, man, berries sound good, and it sounds natural, and it, it's, it probably would look vibrant, but yeah, pr smells and tastes horrendous. Potent predator bait. Gritty fish meat, disgusting, and a blackberry. You can craft one of this item, craft. Fiend on bear meat. Okay, I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Hold circle to exit crafting. Hold circle to tear down your camp. You can do something in the top level. Use the campfire to craft a wide range of tonics, horse care items, and ammunition. Mount your horse. Don't mind if I do. Which one's mine? This one. Let's go, girl. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know... I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the lot? Uh, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young. Didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, Maybe we can all have a new start. 
Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's slip by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. God, just look at the beauty of this place. There's like a cabin over there. Imagine just living here. Oh my god. It would be so amazing. That's why I love Colorado, man. Dung, bones, any sign of him. A lot of stuff like this in Colorado. You have entered legendary animal territory. Follow clues to track the animal. You can find legendary animals throughout the world. Press L3 and R3 to activate Eagle Eye. And look for the bear dug. Clues are highlighted by an orange trail while in Eagle Eye. Which also slows down time. Looks like a bunch of f bees or something. Well, there's some paw marks here, Jose. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's him. Okay, we got the trail there. Press R1 to focus on Can the track. He went? This way. Yeah, I love the <laughs> I love the terrifying music because man oh man is bear meat even worth this getting freaking revenanted, you know what I mean? Um by the way, so yeah, there was a couple of mentions of Rev the Revenant when I asked favorite western movie. That's a great movie. I forgot about that. That's a fantastic movie. Won Leo the Oscar finally, right? I love that movie. Yeah, a lot of people mentioned Tombstone, you know, which I enjoyed. I didn't like it as much as other westerns. Um, I guess I was hoping for a little bit more out of it. It's, it's definitely, like, it was a western to be a western, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? Like, they definitely wanted to make a western and then made that western. If you lose sight of the trail, press L3 and R3 to activate Eagle Eye. Focus on the track. But, uh, yeah, what was my answer? Yeah, 310 to Yuma. I definitely need to rewatch that. Press L3 and R3. Didn't I? Oh, to find the next clue. And, yeah, Django Unchained, fantastic. The Hateful Eight, fantastic. Try to remember. Oh, yeah, people mentioned True Grit as well, which I forgot Wait about. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. Come on, see if there's anything else. And I don't even know if I mentioned the good, the bad, and the ugly, which is so good. We watched that in, like, film school or film class. And, uh, yeah, you know, at the time I remember thinking, like, oh, it's an old movie. I'm going to hate it. I hate old movies. They're so slow. Press L3 and R3 to activate Eagle Eye and find the next clue. But I love the good, the bad, and the ugly. That's, yeah. If you haven't, if you're not a Western oh, no. person, if you haven't seen a Western a look, and then. you're not too scared of, like, old stuff, watch the good, the bad, and the ugly, ugly with uh, Clint Eastwood. It's so good. Fantastic. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's got to be close. Let's keep going. Okay, follow the trail, and let's make sure we have our we- Oh my god, why do I swear to god I make sure to, like, grab the weapons, but... Okay, well, we're gonna have to make the show field revolver work. At least it's, like, a bit of an upgraded weapon, right? Uh, where- Oh, there's the trail. I kind of like that you can barely see it. Looks like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. <sighs> well... What do you think? I think we split up and each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which you think? Split up or use bait? Well, we made the bait, right? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. I feel like I usually... Looks like a good spot for it. I usually put the bait here, or at least in recent times, the last time that I did this. I, I honestly maybe should have split up and see what happens then but to me i mean it just sounds like putting the bait down would be far smarter you know okay so we got this spot right about here hold right to open the satchel uh select the boat and predator bait press x to place it where's the boat and predator bait Go to the rocks. But yeah, let me know in the comment section who, uh, what is your favorite underrated, uh, superpower? It's kind of, I'm trying to think of, like, a really good answer. The evolution one of Darwin, you know, again, to basically evolve for any situation. Because apparently he's really powerful in the comics, I think. But in the movie... More or less. Big scar down his face. You know, I don't think he was as powerful as he usually is. I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. 
I'm definitely nervous. Let's I mean, take a look at that bait. no, that's probably not a good idea. Okay, follow Jose. That was definitely a bear scream right there. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. I don't know if this is a good idea, Jose. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Easy. Not too close. Oh my god. You discovered a legendary animal. Return to the area alone to track it. I'm coming. So yeah, there's like a weird interaction with this particular quest. I don't remember exactly what it is. I've gotten destroyed here. Also, it entered into that weird, like, quick draw mode, which it didn't even explain, because, yeah, that's a whole thing, too. But, yeah, I feel like you can kill the bear here now. I don't even know in that. Maybe you can do it in that cutscene, or maybe you could just go hunt him now. But the game is saying to come back and hunt the legendary bear. So we're going to do that. But, yeah, there, I feel like there's a weird interaction with this bear, just as a heads up if you're playing this game. Anyways. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's nothing. Ugh. Nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> he said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well, I guess I'll track the monster. I mean, we not. should be able to do it. I'm gonna stick around <laughs> here for a while. <laughs> right. I'll see you back at camp. Yeah! See you later. I almost said Dutch. See you later, Jose. Okay, yeah, I think you could. Yeah, you probably could just do it now. New horses available to purchase in Valentine's Scarlet Meadows and Strawberry Stables. But we need some money before we really do that. Um, okay, wait. Put away your gun. Eat, pick, wild carrot. Each stable offers a different selection of horse breeds for purchase. Uh, do we want to pick this or eat it? I mean, if we already had one, it doesn't really matter. You now own multiple horses and can store up to three at the stables. Your previous horse has been stabled for you. I'm confused how that... How did the horses go? I'm a little confused by that. Because we had the horse. We sold the horse. But we sold Hosea's Shire horse or whatever. So I guess we still have the first one. Equipping your saddle on a horse makes it your horse. Your weapons and camping equipment are stored on your saddle. We got another wild carrot. Let's eat it. Look how big that thing flowers. Uh, and then let's... I guess we'll pick this one. Wild carrots can be eaten or fed to your horse to replenish your health core. Well, that wouldn't do that if I fed it to my horse, I don't think. Okay, um... What was I gonna do? I was gonna do some... Oh, yeah, check my weapons. So let's go back up to you. I could have swore I freaking made sure to get my weapons, but I guess not. So we'll take all of that, and we'll take out the long arm carbine, because that's probably gonna help us out the most. And then the question is, can we even hunt this bear now? I feel like you can. Yeah, look at that. Okay, the, what's this thing? Yeah, so I love how they do this. So you have this map, right? And then you have these legendary animals. You have to, from what I remember, you have to find them on the map like this. And then they have a crown. And then, you know, you have to figure out how to hunt them here. So I think you can get the bear dead. Which is pretty surprising, because like you'd think they would start you off with something a little, you know, smaller. Um, but yeah, if you look around, I'm trying to see if there's other... We might be relegated to just this one now. But yeah, we can hunt the legendary bear, which the legendary hunts are so fun. The hunting challenges are fun, too. I like all the hunting stuff in this game. Uh, but if we can save, which we should be able to, that'll be the end of this episode. Yep. Save the game. Boopity boop. Uh, yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that'll be the end of this episode here. Quite a fun episode, getting more and more in the right 
mindset to be able to make some good content, which seems to be resonating with y'all, which feels really good. Um, you know, just healthy choices in my life, more energy, et cetera, et cetera. So, uh, yeah, let me know in the comment section who your, what your favorite uh, underrated superpower is. It's a tough question, um, especially on the spot. Yeah, I would just have to go with Darwin's, the ability to evolve to any situation. I think that's a very unique, interesting power and probably super duper underrated as well, right? And then, uh, yeah, check out the YouTube channel. At the time of this video being recorded, I am going to stream on YouTube. I know I've been constantly going back and forth, YouTube, Twitch, YouTube, Twitch, stop streaming, start streaming, etc. However, I really want to stream, and I don't think Twitch is going to work. I think it's just going to be better to move over to YouTube permanently, get used to the AI and everything like that. So definitely check and see if the red ring is around the YouTube logo. And... Um, yeah, that means I'll be live, and I'm shooting to go live every t uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday at 2 p.m. Mountain Time, which is 4 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, so check that out. Uh, we're probably going to be doing a bunch of fun stuff. Oblivion, Fallout 3, uh, maybe even Red Dead 2, some grindy stuff. So, yeah, thanks so much for watching, and make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!